Hi Bow Bakers! I have had a lot of requests lately for a Swiss roll cake, so in this week's episode I'm going to share with you my secrets on how to make a perfect one every time. And of course, with a bold twist. So let's get baking. So what bold twist can you put on a Swiss roll? Well we are going to decorate ours with a beautiful design. And to do that we need a decorative paste. So that's what we're going to make right now. So in a large bowl, have melted butter at room temperature. To this we're going to add in an egg white, also at room temperature. Whisk in some sugar and whisk in our flour. And then just whisk this together until it forms a smooth paste. Perfect! So to dye your decorative paste, I like to get a toothpick with the dye that I've chosen and just dip it in. And this way you can control how strong or how light the color you want. A little bit more color. Now that I have the color that I want, I'm gonna put it in a piping bag and I'm gonna get my tray ready. So in case you're still wondering what am I doing, I'm gonna use this stencil and I'm gonna use this paste and I'm going to draw a lovely picture for the outside of our Swiss roll. It is gonna be so impressive. And then on top of this, I'm gonna lay my parchment paper. And then on the paper, just lightly grease with butter. Now for the fun part, the decorating. This paste is really easy to pipe with. And you know what, if you mess up, it's no big deal. You can just scoop it up and put it back into your bag. No matter what, it's gonna look gorgeous. Once you put your Swiss roll on top of here, it all bakes together, it's gonna be so creative. We're gonna pop it in the freezer on a tray for around 10 minutes while we get started on the Swiss roll. This cake is really easy, surprisingly easy. Where people can go wrong is technique. Add in your eggs to your mixer. We're gonna put our eggs on medium speed. We're gonna whip them up a little bit. Then we're gonna add in our sugar. We're gonna crank up the speed and we're gonna let them whip until they're nice and thick and light. And there you have it. This is what your eggs are supposed to look like. Really light, fluffy. You beat them for around 10 minutes and this is what they're gonna look like. Probably three to four times the size of what they were. To this egg mix, we're gonna sift in our flour nice and gently on the top. Run your spoon underneath the bottom of the bowl and pull up all of the flour. And just fold it in until you can't see the flour anymore. And that's it. Once you can't see your flour anymore, stop. If you come across a little lump, just jiggle it out with your spoon. Then just fill up your prepared tin with your bubbly Swiss roll. Gently flatten it out over your design. Our Swiss roll is done, let's get it into the oven. Let's check and see if it's done. After 10 minutes, your Swiss roll should be perfectly baked. Oh, it smells so good. It doesn't get very brown. You don't want it to get brown. You want it to be a nice light yellow color. I can't wait to roll this. So one problem people have when making Swiss rolls is that they crack on the sides. The solution to that is when you take it out of the oven, leave it in the tray, Grab the paper and you're going to mimic rolling it. And what this does is while it's still warm, the Swiss roll gets used to being twisted like that. So when it's cold and you fill it and you twist it, it should just twirl right up. When your cake is totally cold, it's ready to be filled. I ran a palette knife underneath my cake between the parchment paper just to make sure it's gonna come up and there's no surprises. We're gonna fill ours with sliced strawberries and fresh cream. But you can use jam or any kind of filling you want. If you're gonna fill your roulade with fruit, make sure you slice it nice and thin. So when you go to roll it, it rolls easily. So I have made that mistake before. When filling it with cream, just do a nice thin layer. Cause remember, it's all gonna get rolled up. And also leave a little bit of space between the border and the filling on all sides. Now for the moment of truth, we're gonna roll our cake. So just go nice and easy. Use the paper as your guide. Oh my gosh, look at the design. Keep it nice and tight. Keep the roll nice and straight as well. Keep on using the paper. This looks gorgeous and then finish by rolling it over on its seam. Lift your roll onto your serving platter and cut nice thick slices. How beautiful and creative and the design possibilities are endless. Thanks to my viewers for the great suggestion on the Swiss roll recipe. Please keep all your lovely comments coming. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.